So I have a great patient here from Longwood, Florida. That's yeah. correct. And uh, it's always good to have Florida patients. But you had an interesting situation. Uh, you are essentially a one-eyed patient. Right. Uh, what happened to the, the other eye? It was trauma? Right. When I was younger, I had a... Um, I hit in the eye with a rock. With yeah, a skull. yeah, yeah, unfortunate situation. So right. uh, patients with one good eye are affected by eye floaters much more than the average person because the brain can fuse an image from two eyes, and if there's something interfering with one side, well, you, you still have an image. Uh, in your case, it was a blur. Was that interfering with work with you? Uh, well, not, it, not too much, but yes, it did interfere. Yeah, I'm wondering if I have a, a, a good view on this video here. But you had an interesting yeah. uh, kind of floater. I wouldn't say it was the densest that I have ever seen. It was more like a diffused dust right. on the surface of the gel. And I've done, uh, after two laser sessions, you said it was a significant, improvement. Improvement. significant, yes. great, great, great. Yes. And I, I did a very light session today. Uh, Sometimes more is not better in this particular uh, game, right. and I personally think that we're pretty much done with it. But if you do have uh, any kind of issues, well, certainly I'm going to wait about three or four months and see how my right eye is doing. Yeah, and of then course. Go from there. Of course, of right. course, of course. Anyway, everything looks great, and you're a great patient, and you, uh, it's always a pleasure to do these interesting right. cases. Appreciate well, everything you did. It, Thank you. Definitely made a difference.